Hi, I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV, and this is brief number 12. So we thought about trying to achieve the tiki bar effect by delaying the release of a new brief until viewers started to wonder if pod fate had set in, but I just couldn't do it. Besides, there's way too much to talk about, and I couldn't keep my mouth shut. If you're new to the brief, you may not be aware of our lame backstory that establishes the idea of a geek brief being a concise bit of tech news rather than a pair of fabulously unsexy underpants. The Geek Intelligence Agency is a fictional international organization of tech fanatics. The acronym GIA stands for Geek Intelligence Agency, but it's also an homage to the 1998 movie GIA. Directed by Michael Christopher and starring Angelina Jolie as Gia Carangi, not to be confused with Regina Falange, the pseudonym used by the Phoebe Buffay character on the popular TV show Friends. Gia is one of the best-selling DVDs of all time, due in large part to the hotness of Angelina Jolie, who appears nude in the film. Angelina Jolie also stars in the 2001 film Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, in the title role and its sequel Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, The Cradle of Life, 2003. Lara Croft is a geek goddess, and by association, so is Angelina Jolie, despite what seems to be a bit of wackiness in recent years. That takes us back to Gia, which brings us back to the GIA. The fictional GIA is led by me, and as its titular international director, I work night and day to recruit agents and informants worldwide. And now that we're all on the same cheesy page, I have an undercover agent in Japan who sent an eye fish to my sister who was in a car wreck a couple weeks ago. Both he and she agreed we could play with it on the brief before it goes to live with her. And after that sentence, I'm considering changing the name of the show to Fun With Pronouns. <laughs> hey guys, okay, so on brief number 11, I danced with some eye fish. And now here we have one in person to show you what he can do. <laughs> now, like all men, <laughs> he's not that hard to turn on. So you just press on his fish, fin, sorry. <laughs> and other he gets fin. other fin. Okay, he's a little shy. There we go! <laughs> I forgot what I was supposed to say. He, uh... Ah! Okay, first of all, I need to point out that uh, because of the green screen, because of my setup, his little fin, uh, his little heart part, doesn't show up, so it's gonna be... You can't really see everything, and I think you're probably gonna have a little hard time seeing the, the light up on his face. But he does light up, and... <laughs> um, so let's get it going. I'm gonna stick, you can actually plug in. Yeah, I know, I know, I know you don't want that. I know, okay. <laughs> but we gotta plug, we're gonna, I know, but we gotta show them how you work. Okay, so I'm gonna plug in Brother Love and, okay. Okay, so we're gonna plug in Brother Love. We're gonna stick with him with There She Goes and See what you can do. There we go. Good fishy. Good fishy. Woo! Okay, dance to the people. Good fishy. Okay, that went on longer than planned, but he was fun to play with, and I'm a dork, so what are you gonna do? <laughs> the Sense Station contest is over, so I'll get these ear buddies and pocket docs in the mail. The Gizmo Project experiment was a complete disaster. I'll talk about that later, but right now I'm out of time, and I promise at least one serious news story on Brief 13. Until then, thanks for your vote to Podcast Alley, your subscriptions in iTunes, and for being the best gosh darn downloaders a girl from Texas could ask for. I'm Callie Lewis, your fearless leader. Dude, Cali looking good. <laughs> Another pod show podcast. Stick it in your ear.